ప్రవీణ్ సార్ యాక్చువల్గా ప్రజల్లో ఒక పర్సెప్షన్ ఉంది పర్సెప్షన్ ఏంటి అంటే ఇప్పుడు మనం బైబీసీ జరిగిన తర్వాత అనేక అవకాశాలు ఉంటాయి వాళ్ళకి ఎంబీబీఎస్ ఉంది తర్వాత వెటర్నరీ ఉంది తర్వాత బీఫార్మసీ ఉంది దాని తర్వాత అల్లైడ్ సైన్సెస్ అని చెప్పేసి చాలా రకాల కోర్సెస్ వచ్చినాయి బీఎస్సీ అగ్రికల్చర్ చదివితే మనం ఎప్పుడో పోస్టింగ్ ఐదేళ్ళ కోసం పెట్టేటువంటి ప్రభుత్వ ఉద్యోగం కోసం ఎదురు చూడాలి లేదన్నట్లయితే ఈ సెక్టార్లో మనకు మన కూడా కష్టం అవుతుంది ఉద్యోగ ఉపాధి అవకాశాలు ఎక్కువగా లేవని చెప్పేసి తల్లిదండ్రులు కానీ విద్యార్థులు కానీ భావించే పరిస్థితి దీని మీద మీ అభిప్రాయం చెప్పండి సార్ సో వీళ్ళు ప్రభుత్వ ఉద్యోగాల మీద ఆధారపడవలసిందేనా వాస్తవంగా ప్రైవేట్ సెక్టార్లో ఇంత ఎప్పుడైతే మన దాదాపు ముప్పై ఐదు వేల మంది అగ్రికల్చర్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ ప్రతి ఇయర్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ అవుతున్నారు సో వీళ్ళందరినీ అక్కును చేర్చుకుని వీళ్ళకి ఉపాధి అవకాశాన్ని ఇచ్చేటువంటి పరిస్థితి ఉందా రాంగ్ పర్సెప్షన్ అండి నా ఒపీనియన్లో రాంగ్ పర్సెప్షన్ యాక్చువల్గా దెర్ ఈజ్ నో అదర్ కోర్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఆర్ వరల్డ్ వైడ్ విచ్ హ్యాస్ మోర్ ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ యాజ్ కంపేర్ టు అగ్రికల్చర్ బిఎస్ఏ అగ్రికల్చర్ or bsc horticulture i am not talking of animal husbandry i am talking of bsc agriculture bsc horticulture we also have uh, animal husbandry veterinary sciences and fishery science avi malla same medical tirgane i got okay say for for instance one more another wrong policy what we have in this country is that only by pc students should study agriculture oh, I, i don't agree that even mpc students can study agriculture there is it is a, it is a wrong policy what it is my personal view okay Now, if if i were the decision maker i will allow mpc students also to study agriculture sir, to my surprise sir actually ippudu yeah. mana pakkana unnatundi maharashtra rashtram tisukunappudu sarath pawar gar agriculture minister ayin tarvata ee lane shift cheyesaru sir manaku maharashtra matram pcm and pcb both students can take man telugu rashtralo inka revolution raaledu yeah. but i i if 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 i were the uh, so what you call uh, had a autonomy to uh, if, uh, if i am heading a university if i have an autonomy i will change this i will take because many people do not know the growth curve is an exponential curve which actually starts with mathematics yes sir the fundamental thing in biology is the growth curve so yes, sigmoid sir. curve yes yes sigmoid curve the name itself is a mathematical curve and you don't allow mathematics students to study illogical so, and today with the technological advancements that is taking place i think we need more mpc students in agriculture as compared to bs agriculture that is my perception really sir my, true, my sir. personal perception okay keeping that aside now coming to the uh, opportunities employment of see actually uh, if you are stud- uh, assume that you are studying engineering in engineering you have civil electrical mechanical uh, uh, ec and so on so forth mechanical and so on so forth so if you are doing mechanical you have to go only in mechanical line yes sir if you are doing electrical if you have to you have to go only in electrical civil means civil like that medical also you don't have other this one but a bsa agriculture graduate apart from see in good old days there were only jobs given by the public system yes sir so people joined as, as agriculture extension officer okay there there wasn't private industry as vibrant as we have today so today agriculture graduates have myriad opportunities myriad means i am telling you there is no comparison asal you cannot compare an agriculture graduate can go to seed industry micro irrigation industry irrigation department of government agriculture department of government agriculture machinery then you have uh, agrochemicals biologicals okay so you uh, fertilizers you banking the first job i got is as a rural development officer in bank in uh, but I, since i was posted in other state i didn't go i joined university okay so you have banking institutions because bankers have to give 18% of their uh, capital to the uh, farmers farmers you have colleges you you have research institutes you have icr as i, I told you have 105 research institutes. so there is an agriculture service recruitment board which conducts exams every year like upsc there is an asrb oh, oh. asrb run by the central government for these 105 institutes they will be recruiting so you have myriad opportunities as come only thing is now bs agriculture is like a journalist okay it is a it is a, a beginning course okay so the you have you you need you know that is what is lacking today that is what uh, actually i wanted to share so you you need to have some skill see earlier wa- earlier what was the situation domain knowledge was sufficient okay but that era is over now 
okay so uh, uh, until now everybody was looking at a academic degree so employer if i am employing somebody i used to look 10 to 15 years back i used to look your degree to know your competency yes sir if i am doing bs agriculture people used to believe that i know about agriculture yes sir if i am a civil engineer i have a competency of civil uh, construction knowledge okay so they used to look now so now people are looking more for generic okay generic competence apart from domain say if there was a study recently made in the world today 40 percent of the working force is doing a profession or working in a profession other than their domain knowledge yes sir that is true so as a bs agriculture i am not doing an agriculture job i am doing some so there is a need today for a though having this many opportunities say for example i have to join a biological uh, company okay which is producing uh, microbes uh, so microbial fertilizers bio fertilizers or so on so forth then i need to have the domain knowledge but i also need to know certain specifics or say what skill set needed for that yes sir like fermentation technology like how you uh, about the soil system ecosystem services so you need to have if i am going for drip irrigation company so then i need to know about the drip irrigation their products their say what you call it is a close conduit system okay it is unlike the conventional irrigation furrow irrigation in conventional irrigation you just leave the water in the furrow it will take but if i am using a drip irrigation which is an relatively expensive technology okay so i need to make use of it is its efficiency is high then i need to know about a dripper its flow rate its uh, uh, say what you call application rate say what type of dripper i have to use what should be the spacing how many drippers i have to use for each tree if i am uh, putting it for a mango tree then how much water i need to give because here i am giving water daily so i need to know uh, there i am giving every one week to 10 days irrigation here i am giving irrigation daily so i need to have a skill set of that so similarly fertilizers okay similarly agrochemicals i need to know about sprayers i need to know about different uh, uh, say what you call active ingredients of uh, so what uh, chemical is used for what pest what chemical is used for uh, say what you call um, what um, insect so on so forth if i am going for a uh, weed side company then i need to know about the herbicides pre pre emergence herbicides post emergence herbicides uh, say what you call selectivity which way herbicide will not cause any damage to the crop so there is a need today apart from domain knowledge skill set and another skill set is like you need to uh, say what employers are looking at is their uh, what you call problem solving skills okay creative analytical skills and creativity it knowledge uh, essential english i am not talking i need to be conversant with everything in essential english so these okay? are the basic skills these are the, some of the things they are i am afraid that there is a wrong perception among the uh, say stakeholders i would say parents or students or say even. and uh, unfortunately unfortunately uh, these are not made known to the stakeholders neither universities are making an effort uh, to do this nor uh, other stakeholders who are involved in this admission process or so on and so forth so there is a need to uh, demystify it then only i think because let us be very clear in our understanding that it is india is an agricultural based economy still 50 percent level population is dependent on agriculture we continue to depend on, on agriculture in the next few decades to come because of the climate change. See, you have to feed this growing population. World's number one population. World's number one population today. Mm -hmm. So you have to feed. So agriculture is going to stay there. You need professionals in this. You need specialized skill sets for this. Uh, I will share with you uh, some of the skill sets which are emerging now, uh, like emerging technologies, what we call IoT, IoT and all that. I will share you later on. As far as the employability of agriculture graduates is concerned, there is no dearth of opportunities. There are myriad opportunities, but you need to tune yourself to that opportunity. Sir, Nadoka, my viewers are good at the way. I can go to the program. Just another okay, tricky question. What is actually a meme? We run another guy. Every day, educators and condi like what the university is and condi. Tajaki Teleja person at 20. Okay, important question. 
జనాలలో పూర్తిగా అవగాహన లేనటువంటి ఈ యొక్క రిలవెన్సీలో ఉన్నటువంటి మరో క్వశ్చన్ అడతాను సార్ నేను ఇప్పుడు సపోజ్ ఒక ఎంఈబీఎస్ డాక్టర్ అయింది అనుకోండి సో వానికి ఒక కెరియర్ గ్రాఫ్ ఉంటుంది అంటే ఎంఈబీఎస్ అయిపోయిన తర్వాత మనం హాస్పిటల్లో చేస్తే ఒక ముప్పై నలభై వేలు వస్తుంది ఒక టీ తర్వాత ఎండీ చేసుకున్నట్టయితే ఒక లక్ష రూపాయలు వస్తుంది ఒక ట్వంటీ ఇయర్స్ చేసుకున్నట్లయితే ఒక త్రీ ల్యాక్స్ వస్తుంది ఇది నాకు తెలిసినటువంటి కెరియర్ గ్రాఫ్ సార్ ఒక బీటెక్ ఇంజనీర్ చేసుకున్నప్పుడు వాడు ఏదో విప్రో కంపెనీలో పోయి చేస్తే త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ల్యాక్స్ స్టార్టింగ్ శాలరీ వస్తుంది ఒక టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ చేసుకుంటే ఒక ట్వంటీ ల్యాక్స్ ప్యాకేజ్ వస్తుంది ఇంతవరకు మాకు ఒక క్లారిటీ ఉంది సార్ సో అట్లా అగ్రికల్చర్ విషయంలో కొంచెం కెరియర్ గ్రాఫ్ గురించి ఏమైనా చెప్పగలరా అంటే ఎలా ఉంటుంది స్టెప్ బై స్టెప్ వీళ్ళ యొక్క స్టార్టింగ్ శాలరీ ఒక ఇరవై వేలు తీసుకున్నారనుకోండి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సో వీళ్ళు దశల వారీగా తీసుకున్నప్పుడు ఒక థర్టీ ఇయర్స్ తన ఇండస్ట్రీలో ఉన్నారనుకోండి అంటే తను ఏ లెవెల్ వరకు రీచ్ అవ్వగలడు తన యొక్క డ్రీమ్స్ ఫుల్ఫిల్ అవుతాయా ఒక కొంచెం కొంచెం ఎలాబరేట్ చేసి చెప్పండి సార్ సి అది సెట్ దట్ ఫర్ సే బిఎస్ అగ్రికల్చర్ డజన్ టేక్ హిమ్ ఎనీ వేర్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి కంబైన్డ్ విత్ సమ్ స్కిల్ సెట్ వాట్ ఐ వుడ్ సేస్ సర్టిఫికేషన్ కోర్సెస్ ఈ హ్యాస్ టు డూ సే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ టుడే డ్రోన్స్ is a certificate you have a certification course you do bs agriculture the course curriculum is also now being tuned say to uh, give the student that means uh, what is happening is worldwide today flexibility is increasing more and people are course curriculum is becoming more personalized yes sir okay so first of all there is a big role to play by the parents what is that they have to decide the future of the students in the seventh class not in the intermediate which line he will go if he, whether he is going to a medicine whether he is going to agriculture with so what is happening is the dynamics are changing and today students are also pursuing their interests they are not going by the courses which parents are asking to, to do them yes, they are they are changing so now in if anybody joining agriculture should be very clear in his now as per the new national education policy also there is no rigidity now if anybody joining bs agriculture course in the next few years it will happen because already policy has been approved so bs joining bs agriculture he can withdraw from the course in the first year after first year okay he can withdraw the course after second year mm. he can do his degree program in multiple agricultural universities okay okay so he has to choose what line he wants to go say for example he will does two years in telangana in some university if he finds that particular university has a expertise in drones so he can leave this university and he can go and join the next two years there okay bottom line what i am saying is per se academic degree has no meaning today academic degree is for domain knowledge you have some competency in the domain knowledge but you need a skill set today people what people are doing generic skill set and domain knowledge skill set like it may be drones it may be i o sensors it may be IOT, it may be it may be micro irrigation it may be organic agriculture uh, biological it may be seeds seed certification seed testing you can be a seed analyst you do bs agriculture you undergo a uh, diploma course in seed analyst you are most sought after person okay so the moment you have associated skill set instead of see, even bs agriculture students are getting jobs but they are less paid it takes him longer time to reach a, a destination what he is aiming for if you have a skill set you can move forward so, so when i joined bs agriculture i didn't know that this much package will be there okay so you have scientists today who earn not less than 1 crore per annum when they reach their peak so there are scientists who earn say for example you take aston professor in university not less than that means per month he earns not less than 80000 rupees joining itself if he is an agriculture agriculture extension officer so he will get not less than 30 40000 rupees per month if he is if he has a skill set and if he is joining a micro irrigation company as an agronomist he will not get less than 25000 rupees per month so edaina kuda ఏంటంటే సార్ ఇప్పుడు మనకి మామూలుగా ఇది అప్రహెన్షన్ అయిపోయింది అనమాట అంటే బీటెక్ సిఎస్ చదివినా వీళ్ళు పోయి విప్రోలో కానీ ఇన్ఫోస్ లో కానీ టెక్ మైద్ర కానీ డిఎక్సి స్టార్ట్అప్ కంపెనీస్ ఏంటి కానీ సారీ ఫర్ ఇంటర్ప్టింగ్ యూ బట్ ఐ డిస్అగ్రీ టు సర్టన్ ఎక్స్టెంట్ వాట్ యు ఆర్ సేయింగ్ ఆల్సో సే టుడే ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ దిస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ విప్రో ఆర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ యు ఆర్ టాకింగ్ కాగ్నిజెంట్ ఆర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ కంపెనీ ఆర్ టాకింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ఐటీ యాక్చువల్లీ there is a dearth of civil mechanical engineers now yes sir in actually manufacturing uh, industry is dearth of such professionals okay so what i am saying is 
as compared to that similarly say if you are doing a mechanical if you are doing a civil that means you are gaining a skill set apart from general engineering you are gaining a skill set so in bs agriculture also that change needs to come you are as i said that you are a agriculture journalist but you need to have a skill set that what we are trying to do is now this present curriculum what we call it as fifth dean's committee curriculum only three years you have the say what you call curriculum, uh, the yeah. curriculum for theory plus practicals and all that. Yes, sir. Final year is entirely say what you call for skill set. Okay. So, what yeah. are the certifications Certific what you are saying? So, such, uh, certificate courses, you have internships, you have say rural work experience in the village, you have experiential learning units. So, you can you can actually master it. I also see several engineering graduates while they are doing their engineering, they also go every day evening and master some skill set. Yes, sir. That has become a norm there. Yes, sir. This has not happened again in agriculture yet. So, that is yet to be done. Ah, that is a deficient. That is a deficiency in the sense, it is not that agriculture graduates do not have capacities, but the orientation is lacking. Okay. So, I would say that BSA agriculture, MS agriculture graduates will be more, get higher pay than even engineers and doctors today. If they have a skill set. So, additional skill sets are right there. You can put data science, and artificial yes. intelligence, and like yes, yes. yes. full stack. Yes. You can put it in the BSA agriculture. You can put it in certification courses. You can put it in the drone technology, and like yes. seed analyst. And so, so, you have seed analyst, you mm -hmm. have mushrooms, you mm -hmm. have honeybees, honeybees, you have biologicals, you, you seed certification is there, micro irrigation is there, say what you call um, machinery is there, say what uh, uh, agrochemicals is there, fertilizers is there. So, you know, so even in fertilizers also water soluble fertilizers is an industry. Okay. Apart from conventional fertilizers, water soluble fertilizers is nanotechnology. As a scientist in any seed company, scientist in any fertilizer company, as a scientist in any micro irrigation company. So, the invite with the certificate of Chet on Vijar the Lukmatrame, while Chipna twenty perception of volunteers mira, all along the Kundun the Pa, Vastanga ever at a skill set and Jesconi, Dantopa certificate ever at the Gain Jeskuntaro, market loan at twenty eight, doctor and Kondi, engineer and Kondi, like with Dandra Kanagoda, we'll do. They will live in a better position. Better position. Better better position. Okay. There are many, many successful examples as per that. Many successful examples. Yes, yes, yes. Uh.